Hello everyone, and here I am with another throw, Throwback Thursday review, and the rotation leads us to a Star Wars set, so, and this time around it is Wano's Junkyard from 2001. So on the front of this booklet, which, of course, just like as it was carry on from 99 and 2000, and this last year with this old time border, with the episode 1 variant of the logo. And in the corner, you see how you can rebuild some stuff into another pot racer, of course. And then let's see. In the far back, you see this little comic strip that shows the minifigs in, in action, as well as it being put into the alternate build. So I flip it over and get a couple of alternate builds. Or a few alternate builds as well as the dimensions of them and then some more of that and the numbers of which are tied to the alternate builds and then a couple more and with this one of which they give very brief building step instructions on how to build it so just like four to six steps to it of which so they kind of went above and beyond with alternate build so we're just all out with alternate builds that's really, yeah. And then also do you have, have for some other older sets. It's, if you want me to review any of these, tell in the comments. And you see, be part of the LEGO community, which did turn out to be an actual thing. Then on the back, add for the uh, Technic sets, which, which I have previously reviewed for Throwback Thursdays. And also add for some other uh, Star Wars sets ranging from 99 through 2001. And now for the mini figs included with this set. Is first of which is what gives the set the name of it is Watto himself. So this here, so this being the very old version of Watto, you see like his upper area. Which all molded and yeah, molded in and whatnot. See, and also if you can tell, that's all solid plastic rather than rubber, which they use later. And see, he's holding a couple of little thingies. Not sure what those are supposed to be. Something in his uh, cantina or something. And also this little. Uh, wrench here is one that can be held in hands of mini, in mini thick hands and things. So not much to it. And if you wonder why he's on this clear brick, is that it's not me, but it's the instructions often say that to do so to make him look like he's flying. And of course, kind of well done. This this one is, if compared to this later 2010-11 version. Or until 2015 version of Watto, as you see, has some nice print, or yeah, printing to it. But however, it's all soft rubber and goes over the torso and all. So, however, this older version of which, oh whoops, also can, but of course it's a solid plastic. But the wings are quite more spread out than this newer version. But the face detailings and prints are all kind of well, do kind of well capture it. But at least the newer version does a little, does much better. But you know, it's a 10 15 year difference, just like they did with the Gamorian Garden and everything. You got these tiles, which I don't think were used in any other set, just for this set alone. And that is it with Watto. And now to the main reason people get this set is the Aldar Beta one. As you can tell, one of probably the most ridiculous uh, me fig ever. See on a stand, and as you can see, it's just one solid mold to it, rather than all than a regular figure. 
And of course they did do about one other variant of him and it was just even more worse than this included in the Star Wars bucket set from 2000 or so. And this is which one, like the only last version they have ever done this character. But if I were if I were Lego and want to redo this one, I suggest make just the head area and put it on a um, bow droid torso or just a regular minifig torso, because that would well work to it. But oh well, it's it is what it is, I guess. So if you're watching this Lego. Make sure, please remake this one and make it that suggestion. It would be good. It would please a lot of people, please many people. But yeah, and that is it. That. And first for the builds is get this little uh, stand area for it, is which comes with a plate and is also a couple of tools. Where you can put what I want to, well, but in tan to represent the sounds of Tatooine, like the Mos Espa pod race set from '99. And then get uh, what's probably named for his Wild Junkyard is get these couple archways, which are like the, some very structures on Tatooine. Got some like tool set here, and has these large archway pieces, which aren't seen very often. And get two of these classic space uh, things for their button. And also a couple of jet turbines as well. Also, to make it like a scrap beak to it. And that's probably about it for that. And you also get this, or I mean these little parts. I kind of did that just. For convenience of carrying around, which are a couple of engines, which have these large plates that have a print of a turbine range, while some of which ranging out to smaller turbines with a small uh, tile with a print on it, which I don't think was in any other sets. And another one of those pieces, oh, wait, fell off. But good use of these like rounded brick pieces, which we don't see very much of. And if we see these hinges and also this thing, little thing that was on the 2000 Desert Skiff. Open that up and probably where you can look into the engines and all. And same thing but asymmetric. And also get this back part of it. And what these are out for is if you get this area, which you can rebuild into the like extra parts of it, and you got an extra pot racer, which is cool for this set. And as for this one of which, it consisted of green and yellow with some brown. It's a nice seat area and a couple of little megaphone pieces, probably to act as exhaust engines or something. And also some levers, probably for the start of greebling. And yeah, not much else there, but yeah. And on to the large part of it being Aldarbito's pod racer. So, this front area, which also a little thing to note is if you are to build the uh, main part of it for the other pod racer. Well, make sure the instructions are exactly like this one of it, but for that. As well, if you want to. So, with each engine, which also asymmetric but consisted of white and blue, and has good use of these wheel pieces, it is acting as engines to it. And also, those like opening compartment areas probably for like exhaust hinges or just uh, hidden compartments but do have a couple of slowing or brake flaps out there and large hollow space in it if it's for like looking to engines or something this tan piece sticking out 
make you look like the sounds of Tatooine need to be underneath it, like the stand area, which in the 2011 Pod Racer sets used the all clear pieces. But moving forward, the rep is for this upper area, as it has an interesting jagged slope piece with some kind of odd symbol. And another one of those pieces or tiles that were used in some of the other 99 2000 sets. And a couple of flaps out, probably to be like uh, extra wings for it to fly off with it, but also stay connected with its engine. So. And well, enough space to fit your Aldar Beetle one into, and as you can see, make with the hand to just go over the windshield area. Which is kind of interesting how they did that. An interesting color scheme of like red, white, and blue with some accents of black and all. And so now let me get it all here and we'll move on to the final work. So for my overall verdict on this set, well, this is which I think pretty cool set, a uh, kind of cool set for 2001, like probably first time of getting Watto, in which until like 2011 or so, but also the second and only other time of getting Aldar Beto in a set, but wish they could redo him. If they ever remade him in modern standards, he should be a lot better. And well, if you still have this, still have this set from that time, well, hope you had some good memories of it. And for those of you who missed out on this, well, and still have access to it, well, I'd say go ahead and pick it up, like eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that is about it with this review. And thanks for watching.